As a GoPro user, you're probably aware of the ordeal it can sometimes be to get the, the epic footage you shot with your GoPro camera, off the camera, edit it, and upload it, render it, figure out what shots you want to use, and then export it, and then finally share it. That, that whole process takes a long time and is sometimes so daunting and frustrating that we just leave the footage on our GoPro camera and totally forget about it. Today we're going to explore a couple of solutions that make this transition much, much easier. First, we're going to talk about two pieces of software that GoPro has launched to make this transition easier. The first is called Quick and it's a automatic editor for uh, GoPro video and actually any kind of video you want. So basically you select the footage that you want to use, drag it into the editor, select the kind of footage you want to get. You can reorder it a little bit if you want. You can select different parts of the video if you want to. If not, you just let it run automatically. Uh, pick the, the style you want and at the end you get a really uh, interesting and cool looking edit. And it's great because there's lots of different options in here. There's tons of different uh, themes you can pick from so you're not going to end up with everybody who shares using quick with having the same uh, video template there's lots of different options and then your own footage makes it your own you can add titles it's very very cool and what I like about it is it's super fast to use sure you don't have a lot of control over what it looks like but it's fast and easy to share you can import footage directly from the GoPro app using Wi-Fi send it over and you're set ready to go the second piece of software is splice this is a little bit more fully loaded video editor. You've got a lot more options. Right now it's only available for iOS. Uh, hopefully that changes soon, but you can edit it, you can select transitions, you add your own music, tons of different options, and it's all mobile on the go, making it really easy to edit on location. You finish skiing, you get your iPad out, you can just edit the video really quick, share it out, uh, get it done, dealt with on the day without having to go home, download it, uh, edit it, render it, save it somewhere. You just do it on the go, it's done and ready to go. While these two pieces of software make it easy to edit and share the footage, it still leaves the problem of actually transferring the footage from the GoPro camera to your mobile device. Yes, you can use the app. Uh, you use the GoPro app and the Wi-Fi connection and you can select the part of the video you want and then transfer it via Wi-Fi, but this process is not that fast and if you're transferring longer pieces of footage it can take quite a while. Enter the Leaf uh, micro SD card reader for either Android or uh, iPhone, iPad, iOS using the lightning connector. What it does is you it takes the GoPro's micro SD card and it plugs it into your phone or tablet. Your phone or tablet sees it as an external storage device and you can just use that directly to drag the footage into your editor, edit your footage, and then render the video and share it right away. You don't even need to transfer footage on Android, you just use it as the external device, import the footage, and you're all good to go. On iOS, I think it sees it as a camera, you have to import the footage from the camera, but still, it does make that workflow much, much easier, especially when you're trying to move larger files. They're really cool, they're tiny, they're easy to take with you, and they allow you to basically access everything on your on your uh, GoPro's SD card at full resolution right away. So what I like about this, this workflow is it's very quick, it's very easy, it's very fluid. It's something you can do immediately after finishing. You can be hanging around uh, right after finishing wakeboarding or skiing. You can plug the SD card into your tablet. You can watch the footage back right away on a bigger screen at full resolution. You can select the parts of that footage you want, throw it into quicks or quick, uh, edit together a little 30 second video of your action and share it right away. Making that workflow from shooting the video to sharing it take a matter of minutes instead of a matter of hours, which it takes if you're gonna put it onto a computer, upload it, download it, render it, edit it, render it out, and finally export a video to share. That makes a much, much longer than just hand it, shoot it on the GoPro, plug it into your phone, select the parts you want, share it, and you're all done. So hopefully um, using some of these tools you guys can shorten the workflow and the time it takes you to go from shooting cool action to sharing your cool action videos and make it more fun to use your GoPro camera. Guys, if you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you want to check out the Leaf accessories, the micro SD adapters, they're linked down in the video description. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Most of all, guys, until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.